Are you somebody that wants to reach their full potential? I am definitely one of those people, so my hand is gonna go up. And if you are one of those people, give me a thumbs up. My name is Olivia Daniels, and this is lesson two out of four with my friend Meg, the self-care queen, all about reaching our full potential, growing and developing as strong, confident, conscious human beings. Hey, hey, it's Megan. I've been a self-care coach for five years now and I am so excited to share with you number two in the series with Olivia, getting her all set up in her morning self-care routine. So this is what we've got planned for today. Yesterday we were talking about breathing. Today we are talking about using writing as a form of getting even more connected to ourselves. So Olivia, you are going to put six minutes on the clock and I just want you to write whatever comes to mind. You might start with today I am feeling, maybe something's happened that you just have a lot of stuff on your mind and you need to get it out. This is your chance to feel like you've got a place to put your emotions, you've got a place to put those feelings down so you don't have to walk through your day feeling heavy, feeling tired, feeling overwhelmed. Six minutes on the clock, write whatever comes to mind and then there you have it, your morning self-care routine is getting even better. I'm not new to the world of journaling, I have tons of journals, I love to journal, but to put a timer on it felt like a bit more pressure and of course that's pressure I'm putting on myself to like write 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 which is good in the sense that like everything I'm thinking I just wrote it out without having to process what I'm feeling or analyzing it because the exercises I usually do are asking the question of why so if I have an issue why is it like that and then I answer it why why but and I'm processing and dissecting Whereas this kind of was like verbal diarrhea, everything just on there, unfiltered, kind of like the flow of this series. We are, there's nothing pre-planned here other than us collaborating. I did feel that there were a few moments where I didn't know what to write, so I went automatically to what I write in my gratitude journal and my manifestations which are just positive affirmations. I'm huge on affirmations. And I know like some people write letters to other people for personal healing. So if there is someone maybe that is causing you some grief, write them a letter and you don't even have to give it to them, but just write it as if you were and get all those feelings out. It's kind of like meditation. So the whole purpose of meditation is to stop the flow of your thoughts because even though you may be wanting something badly, when you're constantly thinking, I want, I want, I want, even let's say this sweater, that's still coming. Even though you're projecting what you want, you are actually, the deeper layers is that you're projecting that you don't have it. So sometimes meditation comes into play to just neutralize your thoughts so then you can actually attract the sweater or dream or whatever you are wanting to manifest in your life. No one is watching you, no one is judging you. You are doing this for you. And a lot of people do not take the time to do that inner work. I'm doing it and I know you are because you are watching this so you care about your personal growth and development. So I know we're on the same frequency here. <laughs> so whatever way works for you, apply it. I know some people burn their pages, but be safe guys. <laughs> For me, one of the greatest acts of self-care is having like a clear, neutral, calm mind. And that is my one of my personal goals to just be in this relaxed state. Because when you're constantly analyzing and thinking and plotting and planning, which is me a lot of the time, your body is in a state of, you know, tightness. It's almost like fight or flight and that is not healthy, but I want to just preface that I am not a healthcare professional, practitioner of any sorts. All these opinions are my own. I am definitely a believer that what you think about and what you focus on magnifies and projects. So that completes day two of how to reach your full potential. My name is Olivia Kudanyets, and if you enjoyed this video, let me know by commenting in the comment box below, and I'll see you next week. I appreciate you sticking till the end. So many good things are coming your way and I'm super excited. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.